So here are 10 ways you can use chat GPT to grow a business to $10 million in revenue. So uh, the first command that we're using is uh, to create heading one copy for a landing page. So we have this prompt here that says create irresistible heading one copy right after 10 words for a landing page. You can just plug this in, right? And then let's just say it's for a random company for Tesla um, to sell their electric car. And then when you plug this in, this is the H1 tag. So this is like the header. The next thing would be Google ads headings. So create five irresistible Google ads headings for blank or services. So again, I'm going to put this back in. So we're just going to say uh, for electric vehicles. Now you can do the same thing with Google ads descriptions. So I'm going to grab these, put them in here. So we're just going to say for electric vehicles. Now you can also write meta descriptions. So I'm going to say write an exciting meta description with the call to action. So I'm going to grab that and I put it in here. So again, action, let me just respell this. So action for um, switching to electric vehicles. Pretty cool. Now, if it's a content calendar, you could say find the most popularized questions about blank and make creative blog topics for SEO. Let's plug this in. I'm going to do uh, about electric vehicles. Pretty cool, huh? So it just did all 10 of them and you can see they're pretty decent. Most of these are pretty good. Another one is blog outline. So if you have a blog you want to write, you could put these in here. And you can create a blog outline. So you could be, you could take one of the topics now uh, and you can plug it in and you can create a blog outline on, on that. So the top 10 most frequently asked questions about electric vehicles, plug it in. Pretty cool, huh? Gives the exact structure for what the intro heading one H2 tag should be for your blog. Now you can even use it for sales. So cold email script, local business targeting. So I'm going to grab create a cold email template offering services to target market, living with 5,000 location. Let's keep talking about electric vehicles. We can grab this prompt. We can put this in here. So offering electric vehicles to Los Angeles, or sorry, to um, uh, say tech entrepreneurs living within five miles of Los Angeles. Another really cool example. You got a cold email script right here, driving in the future with an electric vehicle. Pretty sweet. Now, if you want, you could do a cold email script with a lead magnet. If you're not familiar with the lead magnet, it's basically like um, offering, like offering uh, something that is really hard for them to say no to. So that offers, let's say, 0% financing, something like that to help um, CEOs uh, purchase an affordable electric car. So you can see this full email pretty in depth, right? So as CEO can understand the importance of making fi smart financial decisions for your company. We believe that electric cars should be accessible for everybody. You know, gives all these different points. Pretty sweet. You can even create follow-up emails right here. So create a friendly but short follow-up email to a prospect. And then you can say, uh, create a friendly but short follow-up email to a prospect for... Uh, an electric vehicle that didn't respond after three days. And what's pretty cool is that the thread actually builds on itself. So some of the stuff that I mentioned before about 0% financing and, um, you know, things of that nature, it just, it builds on itself. That's why it mentioned 0% financing. It pulled it from a previous message and you can create a cold calling script right here too. So you can offer the service to people in that location. So we can say um, offering electric vehicles to CEOs, let's say, living within five miles of Los Angeles. Type this in. 
Pretty cool, huh? And you know what's cool is that it knows that it's a cold calling script because it says, hello name, my name is your name, and knows all this stuff. It has the entire pitch right here, and it's passable, right? Like people will see this and they know exactly what its purpose is. So that's those are the 10 things that I'm using it for. Um, you can go through this video multiple times and try to find things that could be helpful, but it's what we're using it for and it's working really well.